Hello, it's Sarah. And today I'm cutting up pieces of plates and cups, all types of stuff. Like, look at this. I don't want to cut this though. This is like, I got it at Goodwill. It's for Yankee Candle. It's like a little candle holding thing. But what I'm looking, what I was looking for were pieces that I could create a cute mosaic with. So I'm taking this class about decorating flower pots and making them look like faces and so I went on the search for different types of plates and uh, cups and things that kind of no today okay so I did a lot of goodwill but then today I went to Christmas tree shops and I found this plate that I still have half of it left it was five dollars so it's not what you should get you should really try to get like look I got two of these plates at Goodwill for a dollar. So that's what you really want to do. So I love this one and this is what I'm going to share with you in a minute but this one has little bees imprinted on it like stamped into it and this is kind of like a thicker uh, it's a much thicker type of plate but anyway I was watching a bunch of videos and seeing how people do it and I just started cutting and using all these, I tried to score it and I tried to do a bunch of different things, but I managed to get some bees out of there and I'm pretty happy with that. So when I have a little mosaic going and I feel like a bee needs to be in there, I just pop that on there. And now Joe got involved, my hubby. <clears throat> there may be a wet saw in my future because what, what the in the class I took, Jeannie Bell uses and I if you look on Pinterest you will find this stuff this is such cheese though I already tried to cut a piece a cup of it and it's it fall, it like really falls apart so I thought if I tried to cut this I liked it for the color I think the color is really pretty but I think this is a job for the wet saw so I can actually really just cut I want to save these in one piece because that's a nose or an ear look that's an ear and you stick that on the side of a pot so anyway oh my god I am making a mess the other thing is I wear glasses so I'm considering that safety but it's not okay I'm gonna do a disclaimer do not do this what I'm doing I am just going to town I should lay out a piece of like a drop cloth situation to catch all the little shards I'm in my craft room in my house it's probably better to find a spot where you know you're not gonna have glass all over the place that's my disclaimer that being said <laughs> okay so like this cup and I have like six of these I was able to get so it was a cup but it had a little butterfly and there's another little critter here hold on I got this the handle off really well so that worked out so different um, and look a little bee so I got those off pretty good um, different types of materials are going to cut differently. It's all different. So, um, oh, and then look at this. I got this little piece at, I'll grab the whole, I went to Christmas tree shops today. I was just looking around. Like this was $2.50. It's not cheap, but what I liked about it, it's two-sided. And I cut the other one up. And so I can use the polka dot side or the yellow side. So it was like a, you know, for the price, maybe you get double usage out of it, you know? Um, all right, so what I'm working on now is I cut, like I said, I cut this plate in half, and I got a usable, and what I like about this, too, it didn't have a big, like, foot on the bottom of it. Like, let me show you what I mean. Like, sometimes they have really thick things around the bottom like that, so it's harder to cut through, so this one didn't have that, so it's been, like, look, see, this has two of them. So it's harder to cut through. I'm finding that out. I mean, I'm getting the bees out okay. But like, see, this bee, it's involved with that. So it, And it's plus it's smudged, so I don't really care. Anywho, but watch what I'm doing with this. So I cut these leaf shapes out of this leaf plate. So then it'll be cute. Like if I use it and look, look at all the shards. I'm making such a mess. But like, say I put a flower... And then I put these as the leaves, as the leaves, okay? So all I did was take this piece, I cut it into usable pieces, and I took my Sharpie, and I'm just 
kind of drawing a leaf shape on there. All right, you can't. All right, I want to make sure I'm in the shot, Sarah. Okay. And this is not perfect at all, and I'm going to just chomp away at it, and whatever happens, happens. This was like 50 cents. It's not even. It's like a quarter. So I don't know how many leaves I can get now. Here's the tricky part. I don't see, look, and I can see little cracks and like, you know, when there's an earthquake, the little crevices that come, the aftershocks are in there from when I cut it. So, I mean, there's really no rhyme or reason. I'm just going to wing it and see how it goes. A broken half. Not a good one. But I can still make a leaf. Watch. And I love doing this in real time for you guys so you can really see what's going to happen. It's not... See that one? I can definitely use this. And then I'm just going to start cr uh, crunching away along that line I drew. And this is a wheel nipper. I think it would be better if I could find my other one, which is more for porcelain. It's like, I can't find it. I don't know where I put it. Um, anyway, but this is doing fine. The only thing is it's probably dulling the bleeds. Um, and I'm cutting it upside down, too. So this is actually the top, but... Um, I'll show you what I mean. The, the glass, I'll show you, hold it, let me get it finished. Okay, so, this is not the side you're going to see. You're going to see this side. So see all those little, it's not even, like it's very ridgy. And so you need to be able to kind of fix that, but what ends up happening is, this will be covered with grout. So all you're going to see is the top edge, if you know what I'm saying. Now, if I had a sanding block, which I might get to, it's like a wet sander, I can just go like this and kind of get that to even out. I'm not sure. It depends because I'm not sure. I'm pretty invested right now, and I hope I continue. Oh, where's the other pieces? I hope I continue. Oh, here they are. To, you know, use this stuff. That worked. So here's a little piece. What I mean by it worked is I, I didn't chop my leaf in half. I got the shape I needed. And none of it's trash, really, because it all has the leaf on top. See? So I can use this just as filler. But this is actually, yeah, it's not really looking like a good leaf. But I'm sure a more practiced mosaic artists could really get that shape really defined the way they want it but I'm just hacking away at it and I think those are usable shapes I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it so the one even the one that I that kind of went I can totally like I'm just gonna go with this right here try to go there Let's see. I just get those peaks along the edge that I, but I think I just made a leaf out of that kind of half, you know, I drew it like that, but I kind of worked with what was left. But you can just see how it's much wider on the bottom. See how crooked that is? But what's going to happen is I'll glue this part down, and when you growl, what comes to life would be that. You know the top part you won't see all that the only thing is I'm not going to be able to butt a tile right up against that because that's the only issue so I don't know how to get that I have to grunt I have another a grosier plier let's see if I have it out here Oopsie. Hold on. Uh, this I think this is called a grosier plier so what you would do is kind of I ha it has like uh, like a serrated I guess that's the word and I'm just kind of pulling it see this has like a like a serrated that's the only word that it's coming to my mind and you just kind of grind it off there to even it up oopsie but that's it you guys I just wanted to show you that uh so like for these bees I could probably get him him out of here pretty good
and you would save the other the pieces that are kind of going flying to use as filler tiles in your design you know look but I, I got a little bee uh, what else I want to show you so yeah so this um, little oops it's like a demi tasse piece it was a little tiny mug. I already, it went with this. Let me go back up so I don't come out of the shot. And I did break the handle off the little cup, but I glued it together with my weld bond, and you can't even really see, and that could be used as like a little nose on the side of a very small pot. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that. I'm really tempted to trim this, but, oh, okay. I just want it to be... Uh, the same on oh geez on both sides but that's a little nose and and that's what's cool is all these handles make their own personality to the to the thing you're making you know so anywho um that's it you guys again don't do this at home this way create yourself a nice space I just came in here and started chopping and I kind of regret it now because I have a big mess to clean up um, but I do have these cute little pieces that I can um, incorporate into a mosaic. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.